Hi, my name's Nick. I'm a student here at JTEC, and today we're going to be talking about welding safety. So first, we want to make sure you have some type of protective shoe. I have steel toe shoes right here. Um, they're not a flammable material. They're not going to hold any sparks that come through. Nothing's going to come through. So I have those. You want long pants because I have hairy legs. You don't want that catching fire, especially sparks. It just wouldn't feel good. Uh, also, I have a cotton t-shirt. These pants are also cotton. You want cotton, jeans, leather, something like that. Um, what you have next is eye protection. You always wear eye protection. No matter what, you always keep it on even if you have a welding shield on. Um, there's always gloves. These are gauntlet gloves. They're longer than just regular like mechanics gloves. They come up on your arm to protect your arm. Because when you're welding, you have your hands, the sparks can come right there. You know, they're really hot. So you want like a nice leather glove, something that's definitely gonna protect your hands. Now, we have a welding helmet. This one is my personal helmet. You want to make sure for the different types of welding, you have different specifications. For, for example, you have oxygen and acetylene welding. You want a shade five or darker. That's the minimum of shade five. And then for any arc welding, you want a minimum of 10. So this one is auto dimming, which is nice. This has a grind feature. It keeps it at a setting of four, up to nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So I'm going to set it to 10 because I'm going to be arc welding today. It would also be a good idea to have some sort of hearing protection. I don't have mine on right in that second, but as soon as I get in the shop, I'll be putting that on. I'll put the helmet on. You want to make sure it's adjusted nice and tight. Not too tight to where it's going to hurt your head, but just tight enough to where it's not going to move around. Alright, it moves around. It's tight enough to where I can put it up. So we're good to go. I'm all tight. I'm going to go ahead and start welding. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.